Hey everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Ninjago video onto the channel today. So, let's talk about Cole. In my opinion, he has gone from one of the most obscure characters of Ninjago to arguably the most popular character of Ninjago. And it's amazing how this character went from a relatively un from a relative unknown to basically a fan favorite. And it just makes me wonder how did this happen? How in the world did Cole go from a relatively unknown character to basically one of, if not the most popular ninja? It makes me incredibly, it makes me completely astounded by this. And I personally believe there are a few factors that came into this, all coming within one after the other. And I'm going to discuss them right here. So obviously the first factor, for obvious reasons, is Master of the Mountain. So, obviously, a big reason for why Cole is popular is due to his writing in Master of the Mountain. Now, technically, if you, this isn't his first um, time with the focus, that would belong to Day of the Departed. But unfortunately, Day of the Departed was such a disappointment that the only thing Cole related that really developed was him going back to his ghost form. And even that was riddled with criticism. But Master of the Mountain, according to a lot of, was definitely praised by a lot of fans, especially during the iffy era known as the Wild Brain era. Basically, the Wild Brain era up until that point was not viewed in the greatest of light, especially with the massive disappointment known as Secrets of the Forbidden Spinjitsu and the mediocre installment Prime Empire. Master of the Mountain felt like a different tonal change, and it was perfectly represented with the story of Cole, especially with him and his mother, Lily, as they went more deep into his past and used this history to further develop his storyline, which a lot of people, including myself, have adored. And honestly, yeah, I can definitely see why a lot of people would love this character simply because of this one storyline. I mean, it basically... I wouldn't say catapulted him, but it definitely made him more well-known among the fandom. But then, tragedy struck. And this, in my opinion, is the big reason why there have been such a surge in Cole's popularity. And that is the untimely passing of his voice actor, Kirby Morrow. Now, obviously, we... I don't need to go too much into this, but 2020, late 2020, he passed away from basically substance abuse, which can be simplified as ment mental health problems. Basically, his body just could not keep up with it anymore, and it was so tragic. I mean, I was legit heartbroken at the news. I mean, everyone probably was, but considering he wasn't just Cole and Ninjago. He was a voice, a legendary voice actor, basically a legend in the field, and to see him die at such a young age, especially with how he died, it's just, it was just so sad. And what amazed me the most about, about this is that when I was on Twitter, when I had that year and a half span of me being on Twitter, the one time the Ninjago community did not fight, in my opinion, was when he passed away. That was when people just stopped fighting. They just decided, we're going to honor this man. We don't care about fighting because this isn't the time for that. So, And that, to me, is such a beautiful and poignant moment that i always remember for the rest of my life. And honestly, I think that we need to do more stuff like this, especially if another, uh, especially since another voice actor, not necessarily in Ninjago, but an in the Lego community, also recently passed away. This voice actor being Billy Kometz, who unfortunately died, um, I think a couple of weeks ago, At the who was even younger than Kirby. He was only 35. And he died from stage 4 colon cancer, the same type that killed legendary actor Chadwick Boseman of Black Panther fame. So, yeah. So, I just want to... And he was, he's known in the Lego, he was known in the Lego community for voicing Macaque in Lego Monkey Kid. Basically, another fan favorite character. So, um, 
just wanted to point that out. But why do I mention this? Why? Because I know what you're going to say. Well, it just makes you sound like people only make he's only popular because he died. Well, yeah. You ever heard of the old saying that people's work, it's just, it's worth more when they're dead? That's why, in my opinion, um, Cole's popularity has skyrocketed. Um, up until the point where he was recasted by Andrew Francis, which I'll get into in a little bit, his work, in my opinion, was more special because he was no longer around. I know that has the most backwards logic and the most stupid logic. I understand if it sounds incredibly stupid, but this is just what I think. I think that because he passed away, a lot of people, including myself, found the work to be a lot more special considering I have saw a lot of tweets and posts about how it's going to hit different knowing he's no longer around. And that's the point. That was the point that I'm trying to make. It's going to hit different knowing that he's not going to be around. It's the same thing with any actor or any voice actor or any entertainer. Anyone. It doesn't feel the same when they're no longer around. It almost makes it more special in a way. That they're that it, it just m hits more when it's they're no longer alive. And I don't know why that's the case. Because I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist. I'm not one of those people. But that's just what I perceive. This is what I'm perceiving. Now, obviously, as I mentioned before, another big reason is the Andrew Francis recast. And I clamored for this. And like I mentioned before, he was the perfect choice to recast as Cole. I mean, he worked with Kirby. He was a veteran of the show. So it's not like he was some random newbie. And his voice sounds incredibly similar to Kirby's. So it's almost... Not exactly a perfect match, but a close enough match to where you could say, oh, this will fit rather rather well. And it has. And I and to be honest, part of me actually prefers his version over Kirby's version. But that's just me personally. And um now Andrew's been getting a lot of you know, the credit of being, you know, Cole now, and I just don't want it to go to his head, if you know what I mean. I don't think it will, but you never know if someone's per someone's mindset. Sometimes it can, fame can go to your head, and uh, personally, I think that he's doing a great job at it so far. He makes him sound a lot more badass, honestly, because I don't want to shit on Kirby. I don't want to shit hunt him, but Honestly, I feel like they should have recasted a lot of the people that are doing it much earlier. Because I felt like they did it a little too late. Because a lot of the voice acting still kind of reminds me a lot of a child. Like a young teen. Like a um, an older tween to a younger teen. Rather than the adults, which were kind, we kind of had Ken them right now as adults for the most part. So I just want them to sound more like adults rather than, you know, keeping their kid friendly um voice. Which I am which I believe is also a main criticism for Jay's voice acting, because I remember that was a whole thing. Uh when Chris Lice first aired his voice got deeper and a lot of people really liked that because they didn't like how high pitched the voice was and even I found that to be incredibly annoying at times. It's like they tried to accentuate the fact that he's just, like, a kid at heart, basically. It's like, we don't need to know that. Come on. But anyways, I'm getting off track here. But anyways, these, these three events that happened one, basically one after the other, almost, Master of the Mountain releasing, Kirby passing away, and Andrew Francis being recasted, are the three reasons, in my personal humble opinion, why Cole is ar is arguably the most popular ninja in the series right now. And to think that if he Kirby didn't pass away, maybe he wouldn't be as popular. That I don't like saying that. I don't like saying that because it makes me sound like a complete jerk. But I have to call a spade a spade. Basically, I have to say the truth. At least what I perceive to be the truth. And what I see is that when Kirby passed, his the character's popularity skyrocketed. That's just all I'm saying. 
I just don't want anybody to get the wrong idea that I'm saying that his death or his passing in any way, shape, or form was a good thing. It was not a good thing. It shouldn't have happened, in my opinion. I I wish he was still here. I wish he was. But I'm just calling it like it is. And that's something that I've always done in this channel, and I've never been afraid to express that. But anyways, why do you think Cole is such a popular character nowadays? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking the red subscribe button, and clicking the notification button to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye!